Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I was torn about doing a video on this, and then my hero, Rick Beato, who's a, a music guy, uh, did a video about it, and I feel I have to as well, simply because there is a problem happening on YouTube right now. It's not YouTube's fault, uh, but it's just something happening on YouTube. And YouTube appears to be stepping up their uh, response to it, so I'm happy about that. But for the time being, I've got to let you know that there's something weird going on where there are spammers out there who will go onto a site like mine, like my channel, Steve Leto, or my other channel, Steve Leto Vault, and simply respond to every single comment and say, you've won a prize, contact me. And you might say, Steve, I've seen that for a long time. There's nothing new there. No, what they're doing, though, is they're using an account that looks like me. So they'll take my thumbnail, and then they'll invent an account that's called, like, oh, I don't know, uh, the official Steve Leto. And then they'll use that account to spam every single comment on a page and say, you've won a prize, contact me. You've won a prize, contact me. Now, I don't know how many people have actually contacted them, in response to that, but I do know that some people contacted me and said, Steve, what did I win? And the first couple of times it happened, I didn't connect it up. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what are you talking about? And they send me a screen grab and I go, well, obviously the channel labeled the official Steve Leto with one follower isn't me. And like, oh, you know, it sounded odd to me too, but I thought maybe. And then I said, but did you notice that they spammed a couple hundred people? So the second I spot it, I can go in and make it so that that person can no longer post on my page. But what happens oftentimes is they do it overnight. So I, contrary to what you think, I am not awake 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> I have to sleep at night too. It re-energizes re me. It, it <laughs> Daylight, of course, does turn me to dust, but no, I'm just kidding. So, so they often do this. I get up in the morning, I turn on my computer, and I'm going through the various things I go through in the morning. And I look at the comment section beneath the video and it's just, you've won a prize, you've won a prize, you won a prize. And so I quickly click it, hide them, and it goes away. But meanwhile, there are people who saw that overnight who responded to me. So I got an email yesterday from a guy, and I'm going to use his as an example, simply because he told me I could. <laughs> but the first email I got was, Steve, here's my email. You have me curious. And so I wrote him back and I go, I have no idea what you're talking about. Because he just simply wrote, here is my email. You've got me curious. I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. And then he said, oh, um, I didn't think it was you, but someone sent me this post. And he screen grabbed it for me. It says, telegram at official Steve Leto. So number one, I don't have a telegram account or whatever that is. Uh, and of course, official Steve Leto is not the official Steve Leto. Now, unfortunately, there are other people in the world named Steve Leto. I know of several. I know of several. One guy's a CEO of a corporation in the Midwest. Another guy's a mathematician up in the um, uh, Seattle area. One guy's a musician in uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin, that area. Uh, so there's other Steve Letos out there. Okay, so I, I know that. So, But the problem, of course, is the official Steve Leto wants people to think that they're me, and they're not. And so... That comment simply said, thanks for watching and commenting. Give me a direct message. I have a gift for you. Now, I, I apologize to those of you in my audience. I've got a couple hundred thousand subscribers. I'm not giving away free gifts to everybody who comments. Uh, my channel gets thousands of comments a day. In fact, that's why I don't respond to most of them. I don't have time. But this thing said, uh, Telegram at Official Steve Leto, thanks for watching and commenting. Give me a direct message. I have a gift for you. And then down below, it says that was the post. It showed up as a response regarding my comment about your Leto Slaw t-shirt. But it was not at YouTube when I went back to check. And the reason it wasn't there is because I had blocked that person from the channel. Now, Rick Beato, who is, if you don't know who he is, by the way, if you like music, like modern, popular music. I'm talking about rock and roll, anything. Rick Beato is a music producer from Atlanta, and he shoots videos from his production studio. And the guy knows music. And I am not a musician, so I am in awe of people who understand music. But he will take a song, some song you know, 
And he's got a series, for instance, called, you know, What Makes This Song Great? And he'll break the song down and show you. And he actually has the different portions isolated so you can hear them. It's absolutely brilliant. I love the guy. I watch all his videos. He's one of the probably five or ten channels that I religiously follow. I love Rick Beato. And he did a video about this happening on his channel. And sadly, the person doing it on his channel actually got some money from some of his viewers. At least one viewer got that response. You know, that, that thing that says, you know, hey, contact me, you've won a prize. And they thought they were corresponding with Rick Beato. And the person they were corresponding with says, you've won a free guitar. All you've got to do is pay shipping. 50 bucks. Person sent 50 bucks. Then they had a follow-up story about, oh, now it's got to get through customs. And then the person thought, wait, Rick Beato is in Georgia. <laughs> shipping a guitar from Georgia to someplace else in the U.S. doesn't require it to go through customs. So that was a red flag. And then they contacted Rick and Rick goes, I'm really sorry, but that's not me. And, you know, Rick said, you know, because I don't do contests and I have done a couple contests, but I've never done a contest where people had to give me money. So obviously if you see somebody commenting on one of your comments and it's got a made up name, the first thing you can do is look at it and go, well, is this Steve Leto? Because my comments have my logo next to it and you can click on that logo and it'll take you to my channel and it'll show you that I've got the 300,000 subscribers. And believe it or not, that's one of the steps that YouTube took to try to do away with this. They said that you can no longer hide how many subscribers you've got in your channel. You used to be allowed to do that and some people did that. But now that you cannot hide that, when you click on somebody who claims to be the official Steve Leto and they got three followers, trust me, that's not me. Okay, that's that's number one. But number two, and this is important, I have reported people to YouTube who've done this. And if you go right below the person's comment, there are a couple symbols. And one says reply. You can click on that to reply to the comment. One is a thumbs up. One is a thumbs down. One is a heart. And this is the thing that some people don't know. And the last thing is three dots. There are three vertical dots okay that's the international universal symbol for the internet's more <laughs> if you click on that it'll open up a dialogue box and the dialogue box will say remove report hide and there's two other things that don't matter so if you want to simply remove the comment from what you're looking at you can click remove and it won't be there anymore and, and i do that when i see comments like this i'll remove them but you can also report them. And so Rick Beato asked people to do this. And I think that if you are so, if you are so inclined and, and this bothers you as much as it bothers me, please do that. You can click report and it'll say, why are you reporting this? And it gives you a list of reasons. Now I can report them and say, this person is impersonating me. Impersonation is one of the things you can complain about. Now, believe it or not, you can click on it also and say this person is impersonating, but it'll say, are they impersonating you or someone else? And you can just simply say someone else. And that's what you can do if you're so inclined. But going forward, if you are commenting on my videos or you're reading the comments below the videos and you see somebody using my thumbnail, but they have a different name other than Steve Leto, such as official Steve Leto, uh, you can guess that that is an imposter. It's a scam, and unfortunately, these things happen. When I reported it to YouTube, the comments went away and did not come back under that name, meaning that account got shut down. Now, of course, you're going to say, Steve, they're going to open up another account. Yeah, they are. And the faster someone reports them and says this is a bogus account, the faster they get kicked off. And so if they don't get any traction on my channel, eventually, hopefully, they'll go away. Okay? So... Going forward, just keep in mind that I am not giving away stuff just because you commented it. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I could give away, you know, participation prizes. But like I said, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of comments daily on my channels. I've got two channels. And um, I, I can't just give every single person a, a, a gift for playing because I, I haven't got that kind of time. I wish I could, but I can't. So there you go. But like I said, right now, anytime you see someone just commenting in every single video saying, you've won something, I'm giving something away. Because that's the other thing. 
it's not really a prize if you give it to everyone, right? <laughs> if I was going to do that, I'd say it right in a video. And I mentioned earlier, I've given away prizes a couple times. I gave away free books when I hit 100,000 subscribers. I think I did it also at 50. But I stopped because as the number kept climbing, it got harder and harder to do. And the idea of giving away, I don't know, 400 books, while generous sounding, it is actually a grind to sit there and sign books and stick them in an envelope and address them. And to do that 400 times, it, it, it can quickly eat up a weekend. <laughs> so there you go. But if you see someone using a made-up name that includes Steve Lato, and claiming to respond to every single video with some sort of giveaway or you've won something, it ain't real. It ain't real. And just click on the three dots and report them. And report them as an imposter. And that will do me some good. It'll do you some good. And maybe we can get this stuff to go away. So there you go. And just in case you haven't picked up on this yet, I highly recommend you go check out Rick Beato's channel. And go through the list of songs and what makes this song great and find a song that you like and then hear him deconstruct it. And it's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. He's done a bunch of songs I really, really like. Just like Heaven by the Cure. One of my favorite songs. And I loved that song. And then I heard him explain it. And I loved it even more. And he's not pointing out stuff that you necessarily missed because if you've heard the song over and over again, you know what's there. But he'll explain why this works so well with this. And did you notice how this, then this, then this? And it repeats over here. The guy's, the guy's a genius. Absolute genius. I love Rick Beato. I wish there's some excuse I could use to get on his show, but I, I, I can't even come up with one. <laughs> so that's never going to happen. But I love the guy. Go check out his videos. And if, by the way, you comment on one of his videos and someone says, hey, you want a free guitar? My name's Rick Beato. Contact me. It's a scam. So there you go. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Do not taunt Happy Fun Ball.